Hey all, this is Anjali and we are going to discuss while loop in this lecture. As we have discussed how for works in earlier lecture, here it is another way of repeating the quote. So basically we use for where we know that how many times exactly I want to repeat something. And while I prefer to use where I don't know exactly how many times I have to repeat something, but I know a condition. Until the point that condition is true, I have to keep repeating. So the basic syntax of while loop is we have initialization first, the variable on which my condition depends. I need to initialize it with some value. Then we have the keyword while with a boolean expression or a condition which is checked every time. And there is no semicolon at the end. In curly brackets, we write down the statements to be repeated and the statement to increase or decrease my condition variable. So the condition is checked first. If it is false for the first time, nothing at all will execute. If it is true, it executes the statements, increment is done and it goes back to the condition again. Checks the condition, again executes the statements. If it's true, checks the condition again and so on till the condition gives a true result. As condition gives me a false result, the execution will stop. So that's how while loop works. Let's take an example for this. Now this example is printing numbers from 1 to 5. How does it do that? We have a variable a which we have initialized with 1. Then the condition says a less than equal to 5. Yes, 1 is less than equal to 5. True. System dot out will print that number on the screen. So 1 gets printed here. A plus plus will increase the value of A by 1. It becomes 2. It goes back here, checks the condition. 2 less than equal to 5. Yeah, true. So 2 gets printed. A becomes 3. 3 less than equal to 5 is true. So 3 gets printed. A becomes 4. 4 less than equal to 5 is true. 4 is printed. A becomes 5. 5 less than 5 is equal to true. 5 gets printed. A becomes 6. And when A becomes 6, the condition becomes false. And the loop stops over there. So that's how while loop works. We have another example to understand in a better way. That is to print multiplication table of a number, let's say 5, up to first 10 terms. So I've taken a variable a which was initially 1, n which is 5, it can be any number for which you want to print the table. Then I have p, a helping variable. So we check here if a is less than or equal to 10. Yes, 1 is less than or equal to 10. So n into a, that is 5 into 1, gives me 5, which gets printed on the screen. a++ plus plus will make a 2, and then it goes here, 2 less than or equal to 10 is true. n is still 5, a has become 2, so 5 into 2 is 10. p becomes 10, and we print 10 on the screen. Then a becomes 3, so 3 less than or equal to 10 is true, it prints 15, then for 420, and so on till a reaches 10. When it is 10, 5 into 10 is 50, it prints 50 on the screen. A++ plus plus will make it 11. 11 less than or equal to 10 is false. Since the condition is false, it stops over there and the thing which we get printed on the screen is numbers from 5 to 50 that are first 10 multiples of 5. So this is how while loop operates. This is how it works. I hope you understood the basic syntax and working of while loop. If yes, do like the video. Share with your friends and do subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And stay tuned for the output questions of while loops in the coming videos. Thank you.